Oh, you know what to talk about? That was really interesting. We've got an update on the whole like um, bird kind thing that I mentioned to you the other day. So the other day, news erupted on the social web because well, mostly, you know, I kind of spotted it early on. But I'm always checking. I've mentioned before, right? Every time I'm always checking kind of like, you know, the bird kind location. So, you know, intermittently from here from time to time on Instagram, right? You can search on places and stuff. And you can, you know, tell you videos people uploaded, stories people uploading when they tag the Bergheim there. And it's, you know, it's a bit irrelevant to do it because the Bergheim has a no photo policy. One of the, you know, one of the most famous clubs in the world. I'm pretty sure you guys are aware that when you enter, or if you do manage to get in after queuing however many minutes you do outside and having to get past the legendary bouncer in one Sven, then when you do finally get in, you'll know that they place a sticker of your phone front and back so you can't really take any pictures. But sometimes, guys and girls will go in the toilet take a selfie or if they're on a the dance floor they might record a little video clip of someone playing and it's usually just a clip just to say hey i was there in purple on social you don't get that many to be fair um it Bergheim pops off for the most part from when S sunday morning for the most part is the main day to go up until monday morning and you don't you probably will see about 12 videos uploaded from strangers and that's you know that's nothing on instagram you know you probably get about 12 videos posted a second about you know a cat someone saw on the road but i've always checking it and i really and i recognize over the last couple of weeks that i'm seeing a lot more people uploading pictures of themselves coming out of the Bergheim, right as they usually do the djs have that picture where they're standing on the fucking end of the thing right posing with their records which is so cool i can't wait to be that guy who does that but there's also videos of people you know with their arm out with a stamp right that they get from Bergheim, usually get a stamp on your arm as you leave so you can come back in and they know you know you've been in just showing your stamp but this time around they're changing things i recognize the uptake in wristband right the wristbands you get in the festival that kind of stick you know kind of ones that stick we can't really take take them off they're quite hard to pull off and on the wristbands it's obviously got Bergheim logos all over it and it's also got the price but then the second um adjustment i saw was that they're now um charging people to re-enter it's a five euro re-entry fee now i'm not sure if that five euro re-entry fee is you pay once to re-enter and if you go out again you'd have to pay to come back in again the second time or if it's every time you leave it's a five entry because maybe it's that maybe it's because you know there's so many people coming in and out that you know it's causing a bit of you know mischief and a bit of a bottleneck at the front of the of the of the bird kind because that's the thing there's only one way to go in there's loads of exits fire exits i'm assuming but there's not there's only one entry in um so that makes it a bit difficult and because of that, um, some some dorks online had decided to start a petition to um, boycott the Bergheim because of the price increase, which is, you know, insane because it's probably going to be one of the most unsuccessful boycotts you've ever seen in the history of man. Right. And I've got the image up here. from This is from the Reddit uh, thread. And this is the, this is the protest. Right. It's going to start from the 14th. So the Saturday up until the 28th, the people are boycotting. All right and they're boycotting it because of the price increases it's like what so let's go back to the thread so let me see if i can find where there you go yeah so it's this let's see if i can get it on there as a comments it's insane that this thing's actually happening in real life <laughs> but yeah it says uh people are boycotting for it following the changes in prices and this kind of guy kind of basically eschews my thoughts completely right so much so i have to, I have to give him an upvote but this is basically is where i'm at so this is the one comment that kind of explains it and kind of you know puts it all down as a this is fucking ridiculous this is a comment from the reddit thread it says as follows people are being so dramatic about this this is about people wanting to boycott the burger the wristbands or another system are going to be forced on all major berlin clubs soon with the further implementation of digital control methods stamps and clickers are no longer acceptable methods of tracking how many people are in a club which is true it's a very draconian and very old school way of you know tracking the amount of people are in a certain nightclub you know, you you going. Usually, there's a guy that's clicking in and out. People coming in and out. It's a and it's probably a monster job for someone to do to keep that kind of focus. And every year, the Bergheim gets po more popular. It gets more well known. It gets more world recognition. People like me make videos. More people come every year. So imagine the kind of strain they're having to go through. So all that stuff is just unnecessary. The amount of drama that happens with somebody. You know, some idiot decides to jump in the river in the summer with a stamp and then it washes off and they come back and they say they pay, but it, you know, all that stuff. So it just kind of gets where it's away. So that makes sense. Um, click on no longer acceptable methods of tracking. Printed wristbands provide a more tangible record of occupancy. They need to be printed, probably as a result of this closer record of the occupancy, for, of course, for fires, for fire hazards and stuff. And you have to remember, do you remember when the burger was about to close? They were threatened to close it. So this is not, this is something that they probably have to do. You have to always kind of have this 
game or this dance that you play with the local authorities, right? You want you want to keep themselves, you want to keep in their good graces. You don't want them to kind of completely oust you. Um, blah blah blah. Probably as a result of the closer closer record of their occupancy, they're going to start limiting the guest numbers more in order to play by the rules. Just fine. Anyone who frequents the club knows that. Uh, it needs to happen anyway. It's been absolutely packed recently. It's true. I've seen the uptake. I think the posts I've seen over the summer have been insane. I got so much FOMO clicking the post on Instagram. People have been uploading pictures of them outside the burger. And obviously, when they finished, consistently the entire summer. It's been absolutely. It looks like it's been brand. I see. I see. I remember seeing a video or a picture of the queue outside the burger, and it was stretching all the way back to the taxi rank, and even a bit further. Like so, you know. And that's far. If you've been to a burger, and you know how far that is. Um, that's a long queue, sorry. And they're not like single file queues, right? It's like friends packed into like groups of five and whatever it may be like. Um, um, lower number of guests means that they need to make um, they need to make up for the revenue somehow, hence a five euro re-entry fee, which is true. Anyone who knows us place knows that the intent here is not to malicious and it's a good chance that they'll make the parade better, which is true. It's already hard to get in, which it's a it's already in a you know, it's in, it's in a random place, it's hard to get in, it has a really you know tight reputation. Which already weeds out all the pretenders, all the people that are just going to be there for you know shouting and screaming and acting like a fool, and then add on top of that, you've got the added little barrier of the, the little price increase, then you've got the reentry fee. It really is for the professionals. If you're really about this life and you really are in love with the music and you're you know you can't go a day without listening to a techno mix and you know you follow releases and you go watch your favorite dj play and you buy merch this shouldn't affect you because this is in general should be make it better because it means that you know all the dumb idiots that are usually there are not going to be there and usually for the most part they do a good job of eliminating it i'm not sure how it is generally uh, i tend to avoid going on a friday or a saturday for the most part or friday night you know or saturday morning whatever but um for the most for me i've never had a bad experience there anyway to regard so they can they can charge whatever and i'll still go and it continues uh the club is still the club no one has ever gone because they wanted to experience a stamp on their arm i'm willing to pay more if it means that i have more room to dance and have come and the dive to queue 45 minutes for a toilet i agree this went into effect last weekend and the club has much less crowded than it has been in a while yes awesome and there's also been opposition to alternative heavens like burger and if we want space like burger to survive we need to accept that trust support and the club's adaption of the powers that surround them be on burger and side not against it 100 agree that's so true and i think again i think it's even more prevalent for the burger because that's the one berlin establishment or kind of mecca right or the one electronic scene that the one yeah the, the mainstay of the scenes every city has one club right they have to kind of rally around so far in london it seems as if people are running around fold which is great to see and i'm hope every every city does it so what you have to do you have to kind of set the precedent with those clubs make sure those clubs play their play by the rules there by the book and everything and then the other clubs can be a little bit you know a little bit loosey-goosey fly off the seat their seat fly off the seat of their pants but you have to maintain the standards of this kind of club because if not it's going to have a trickle down effect and affect everybody else underneath them that's that's the problem with this so it's annoying it sucks and stuff i understand but honestly i would i wouldn't rather anything else i really would want to rather anything else it's so so good um i'm really really a big fan of it and again re-entry fee on a re-entry fee i'm gonna be inside of you soon berlin and berkheim so see you again very soon um yeah i don't mind it i don't mind i'm not sure what people are complaining about again again i think it's people probably being spoiled i think we had a burger in here in london and it was charging 18 pounds to get in to see you know 17 of the world's best djs we wouldn't give a flying toss honestly we wouldn't care at all <laughs> but i think if you're in berlin you're probably so spoiled with the amount of good places that you got to you, you've got to go and rave at and have a good time at it. You're just like, oh my God, I can't believe they did this. It's like, mate, come on, come on. Anyways, um, what else is on the list here? We want to talk about... I saw, I've done quite a lot of topics today, haven't I? I think I smashed them through and it's already petering out to 50 odd minutes and stuff. So maybe it's a good place to end it. Again, as always... Thank you so much for tuning into Agassi Knows English Show. This might be the last show of the week, actually, um, considering, depending on what happens tomorrow. I'm not DJing tomorrow, which is Friday. But if I do end up DJing, then of course, no show. But if I don't, then I'm going to do another one. But in case you don't see me and it's your first time here, give me a little like, right? A little subscribe if it's your first time and you enjoyed my little rants and raves. If it's your...
you know if you've been here already then leave me a comment you know let me know if there's a bit of the show that you enjoy a bit of the show that you didn't enjoy if you listen to the podcast app leave me a five star review share amongst your friends with Amalaki and I will see you guys again on the other side for the other, for the another episode of the show another episode another episode so start right at the end why don't you have a thing now um, but until next time friends see you again very very soon bye bye peace <laughs>